here right next to where I parked. I got a leaner. It's hung up in another tree. A Douglas fir. I can tell by the bark. And these three Pondo pines over here that are dead, they have the barks falling off of them. These three right here, right next to Lloyd Lane. PG&E crews topped them a year or two ago and just left them like that. And of course they died. This one's just, it's leaning a little bit up against this black oak. But this one especially looks like it's gonna go. This one right here is leaning towards the road, right where people pull in and pull out of this driveway. And it's set up that if it comes down and strikes this black oak, there's a good chance it's gonna take off some major limbs and maybe even take the whole tree down. I don't know, it all depends on how strong the root system and the trunk are. Right now, we've been having a lot of problems with black oaks keeling over because their roots are weak and stressed. But if I had a bucket truck, a bucket truck, you know, like 45 to 50 footer, might be able to do it with a 40 footer. I probably need a 50 footer at least. One that, ex that goes up and, and had traffic control on the road here. These guys could have these things down in about four hours with a crew that has a bucket truck and knows how to use it and has the right equipment, the right chainsaws, somebody that knows what they're doing. It wouldn't be that hard to get these things down with a bucket truck. Those three gotta go. One of them's gonna end up falling over if it's not taken down within a few, few days. I think the one furthest on the left is the one that's the biggest threat.